Hello, I've never filmed a grooming video before, but this is gonna be like a day in the life of a groomer. This is Rosie. She's a soft-coated wheat and terrier. Pump. Rosie, pump. Anyways, um, I'm gonna be grooming her today. She's a very good girl. So what I usually do to start, and hopefully you guys can hear me, is I will take the blower and I'll blow them, blow them out first, their coat, so all the dead skin and all things can like fly out and I can see if there's any knots in the coat. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'll go over her grooming notes so I can see what type of haircut she gets. Um, if she has any behavioral issues, stuff like that. So, Rosie gets half inch on the body with a longer head and shorter ears. For notes, I have she has allergies, she has sensitivities, and we're not to give her any treats because it could affect her allergies and she's a very good girl. So I tried to pre-shave her um, to save some time time on the blow dryer, but not very much is coming off, so I'm gonna skip that step because uh, that'll just waste time for me. So what I'm gonna do now is shave her paw pads, do her nails, and clean her ears, and shave her private parts. This is a happy hoodie. I put it on them to protect their ears from the sound of the blow dryer. Some dogs need it. Uh, some dogs don't mind it. If they hate it, I take it off. Um, I don't think Rosie hates it, but I don't remember. You're so beautiful, Rosie. I don't like loud voices. I dried most of the body. I just have the like the chest, neck, and face left. Um, I'm gonna wait till I finish the body, like shaving the body to blow dry the rest, just because I don't want to like blow dry right now. It's kind of boring, so I like to take breaks from doing the boring stuff. And it's nice to give them a break because uh, not every dog likes blow drying. Rosie doesn't really seem to mind much. She's a really good girl, but I'm gonna give us a break. So now I'm gonna go in with an anti-static spray. I'm just gonna, this is very lightly scented because she has allergies. I don't like to spray her with a lot of stuff so I just give her two spritz and then I'll take my slicker brush her type of coat needs a slicker brush I'm just kind of spreading the spray out then I'm gonna start grooming her to make sure the coat is even you brush backwards so I'm not gonna go down her body like that I'm gonna go opposite the way it's growing And then you do the same body parts like two or three times just to make sure you get each hair.
body after clipping. So obviously, don't mind the chest and stuff. Obviously there's like longer hairs here. Paws need to be touched up. Like this is not how you send a dog home. So next, I'm gonna be scissoring the legs and the feet. And then when I'm done all that, I'll go back, dry the chest and the head. I forgot some steps. All right, so I totally <laughs> forgot. I have to shave the paw pads and then, um, then I'll do the feet. You want to be careful here not to cut their elbow. So there's a lot of extra fur here, but some dogs have like big elbows. Just do a little pinch here to make sure you're not going to cut their elbow. and legs are done we just need to dry the chest and the face so we can trim those up and then she's ready to go home don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me don't you wish your girlfriend was a freak like me don't you okay so i'm doing rosie's face now i don't know how well it's gonna show but i'm gonna try so for her head, um, I learned to do two lengths longer on dog's head. So from their body, you do two lengths longer on the head. For Rosie, I do three lengths longer just so she can have a bit of a shaggier look. So right now her body is in a half inch and her head is gonna be a seven eighths. And again, you wanna brush against the grain to get like a nice smooth cut. See? And we do her ears like a lot shorter than um, her body and her head. We give her cute little triangle ears. Clean up the look a little bit. I'm gonna shave 
the inside of her ears so none of these inner ear hairs like stick out. You have to be really careful. It's very easy to cut a dog's ear. I'll show you where it's the easiest because they have a flap that is very easy to get caught in your blades. So, <clears throat> I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but <gasps> I literally, I literally did not expect a tick right there. Okay. Took the tick out. Um, anyways, what I wanted to say is this flap is very easy to get stuck in your blade. Every dog has this. So you have to be really careful when you're doing their ears. There's still hair on the table, I just couldn't get it all off, but she's a very good girl. Finished. So her groom took about an hour and 40 minutes. She did really, really good as usual. We're just waiting for her moms now. Um, what I usually do when I'm done, I usually give the owners a 20 minute heads up. I'm usually done before the 20 minutes. I just suck at timing. So while I wait for them, I clean up, make sure the salon is nice and clean for when the owners come to pick up, um, get the dog's collar and everything on so the dog is ready to go. And that's it. She was my last dog of the day, so I'm closing up. But she did very good. And she's a really good dog to groom when you're not having a good day. Thanks, Rose.